Welcome to this video. Now we're going to solve a coding interview question combination sum 3. Here's the problem statement. Find all possible combinations of k numbers that add up to number n. Given that only numbers from 1 to n can be used and is combination should be a unique set of numbers. Okay, this is the problem statement. Suppose that you are given k equals to 3, n equals to 7. k equals to 3 means you have to choose 3 numbers from 1 to 9 that add up to 7. Okay, here we have only one combination that is 1, 2, 4 and that add up to 7. 1 plus 2 plus 4 equals to 7. If you are given k equals to 3, n equals to 9, that means you have to find the combination of 3 numbers from 1 to 9 such that they add up to a number 9. Here we have 3 combinations 1, 2, 6, 1, 3, 5, and 2, 3, 4. 1 plus 2 plus 6 equals to 9. 1 plus 3 plus 5 equals to 9. 2 plus 3 plus 4 equals to 9. This video is not to be an exhaustive resource for this. I want to share my thought process and some sort of roadblock I had to understand this type of problems. This type of problems you just backtracking algorithm. You know that backtracking algorithm always just difficult to explain. So let me show you how I think about this problem. Let's suppose that k equals to 3 and n equals to 9. And we have this range of numbers from 1 to 9. First, what we can do? We can choose the first number. If we choose the first number, then this is only one number, right? So the length of this would be 1. So here we can have multiple choices. These are all choice 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6, 1, 7, 1, 8, 1, 9. If we choose any of them, we see the length of the combination is 2. But we need to find the combinations of length 3. Alright, here for 2, we can have multiple choices. So if we take this combination, we see 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals to 6. 1 plus 2 plus 4 equals to 7. 1 plus 2 plus 5 equals to 8 and 1 plus 2 plus 6 equals to 9. We see that here 1 plus 2 plus 6 equals to 9. Here we have found one combination. So let's add the combination to our answer list. Then we have 1 to 7 that equals to 10. Then 1 to 8, 1 to 9. Okay, we're done. Then for 1 and 3. For 3, we have this choice 1 plus 3 plus 4 equals to 8. 1 plus 3 plus 5 equals to 9. So we have found another combination that add up to 9. So let's add the combination to our answer list. Then 136, 137, 138, and 139. And the sum of all of the combinations more than 9. Then for 4, we have this choice. And the sum for all of the combinations we see that more than 9 for here 2 for here for here for 8 and for 9 we have no choices no element on the right okay so we're done at first choice if we choose 2 instead 1 let's see what's happened then we'll have this type of choices 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 2 3 4 and that equals to 9 so let's add these combinations to our answer list. Here we see 2 plus 3 plus 4 equals to 9. And that's a valid combination that we are searching. So let's add this combination to our answer list. Then 2, 3, 5 and the sum of them are more than 9. And for all of them, right? Then for 4, we see the sum of 2 plus 4 plus 5 is more than 9. And also for the rest. You can see now if we choose instead two three then let's see what type of choices we can have we can have this type of choices and the sum for all combinations is more than nine okay then if we choose here four 
Let's see. This is our choice. The sum for all of these combinations are more than 9. Then if we choose 5, then we have these combinations. Okay. And the sum of all of them are more than 9. If we choose 6, then we have this type of choice. And the sum of all of the combinations more than 9. And here, 2. And then we can have no choice, right? If we choose 8 at first, then we have just only 1 on the right. But we need to find the length of 3. And this is our answer array. That's what we need to return to our function. I can go through the pseudocode. If I go through the pseudocode, this video length will be increased. I'm pretty sure that you'll be get bored. So I leave the resources for you to understand this problem. And this is the intuition to this problem. And this is how we can solve this problem. We have concrete implementation in java attached to this video check that out this solution will take bigger of n factorial times k 9 minus k factorial time complexity and it will take bigger of k time complexity to construct the answer list all right guys this is a pretty hard problem to solve if you are new to backtracking algorithms Please go through the code I attached to this video. Then this problem will be easy. Alright. Thank you. I will see you in the next video.